So as you can see, this is the Walco Acoustic Feedback Eliminator. So we'll see what this does. Uh, this is the first time I've actually used it. And um, it was new in box. And I was going to sell it on um, Gumtree, which is the Australian counterpart to Craigslist, I suppose. But I thought, well, no one will know what it sounds like. And um, since I'm recording YouTube videos for the other six, I may as well do these other two. So I've taken it out of the box, thereby reduced in the resale value, but what the heck. So this is what it sounds like um, passing through the box. We'll see if we have any tone suckage or not. Interesting. Not passing a signal. Okay, so that's the knob all the way down. Let's turn it up a bit. Okay, hang on, we're getting. There we go. Okay, as I've noticed with some of the other ones, the switch is a little bit dodgy, so if you're going to use this for real, I'd suggest um, swapping it out the switch, maybe a toggle switch. Um, or I guess just leaving it, but I'm not sure that these are robust enough to use uh, with live performances. In the studio, where you're, you can take a few minutes and mess around with it to get the internal connections to actually work, sure, use it for the interesting sounds. Okay, so let's have it all the way. Oh, okay. Maybe that wasn't a bad switch. Maybe it's the dampening process. Let's take a look here. Okay, so the only some sort of noise gate. Um, so medium strums it doesn't do anything for. It's only the loudest of strums. And none of the single note things open it up. interesting. Okay. Waiting for the tail. We're going. Okay, so just chopped off the tail right at the end. back down just I want to see if there's a sweet spot somewhere in here. There you go. So some sort of noise gate with a lot of makeup gain to the extent that when it does let the signal pass through it overdrives the amplifier. So the uh, instructions on the back indicate that it's primarily for uh, a 
electrically amplified acoustic instruments, like if, for example, you had a acoustic guitar with a pickup on it. I'm not sure that this would really work for what it's intended for, but if you're clever, I can see this doing something weird if you have the uh, settings just right, either as kind of a choppy um, nothing, then all of a sudden you get the signal, and then ugh, it clamps down on it again. Or conversely, uh, just using it as a weird kind of boost effect. Let me just try that really quick. If you get it beyond a certain uh, threshold, so interestingly, not so much as a noise gate, but you could actually use this as a weird sort of boost pedal or as a choppy sort of effect. So, you know, maybe.